Hello everybody and welcome back. We are ready for level three of the power tower and I'm excited to see how it's changed in this new update. Level one and two were changed a little bit. The icons for the doors and levers were changed and some placement of some of the rooms or the trainers have changed a little bit. I don't know what they've done to change three. We could probably sneak around this guy and get that treasure chest. Oh no, we can't. We can't at all. A trainer, should we battle now? Uh, sure, no, no, let's, uh-oh. When he has one, that means that usually it's a very high level. A uh, goss line, what level is it? I gotta know, a 20, do you see what I said? What, I, what did I say? What did I say? Actually, Digmaw would be really good for a goss slime right there, so let's throw him out and have him battle it. Hopefully the Taruga is gonna get a good bit of experience out of this because we still got to get the Taruga up in line with everybody else. And that may take a little bit of works to do. I'm not sure how easy it will do, how easy it will be to do that, but hopefully it won't be too bad. I think this is going to be a fairly easy battle here. I probably shouldn't have tail spin on here. I probably should have cut instead so that they're all cut or sand type attacks so that he is playing into his strengths as much as possible. The only downside of that is that you're going to get to a point where you're pigeonholing him into a certain area and you're not gonna he's not as flexible if he's all focused on one side or one area of play i guess you'd say recovered from his burn awesome great aurora thank you for recovering from your burn i'm really happy about that adoria fruit i'm not sure what a doria fruit has Let's see what our items, some of these fruits here, I think they've added. Removes burn, oh man. But if we have any more, we have two more burr fruits. If I got another one of those, I would be inclined to give that to Taruga. Did I get that other? I'm not sure I got that other treasure chest over there. I think I may have completely forgot about that. That's very silly of me. It does appear that they redone this level a little bit. I like how they've done the levels in here. Level one is an introductory to the doors. Level two is an upgrade from that. And then you get into level three introduces you to the conveyor belts which then in five is crazy so it kind of is really nice how they do this in introducing the area or introducing that particular mechanic in a simplified way and then increasing it in the next floor or a later floor I almost went for that with the swarm, but that 16, I doubt would have been able to done very good against that 18. It just probably wouldn't have worked out for us. Hey, that was a nice punch, a very nice punch. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that to be very effective there, to be honest against that I think the poisonous bees or poison must be very effective against normal types because I'm pretty sure the pitter bat and the the pitter bite and the patter bit are normal types. 
this might be a little bit difficult here with the sand scale with this poison going on here if this poison plays around with us too long or the sand scale toughens up too much and it's going to really lower our health quite a bit here while we try to knock him down so we might have to switch him out here soon just depends to see how this works out for us doesn't look like it's doing too much damage to us right now i did miss that's not good and that lowers our accuracy which means we're probably going to miss more often come on all we need is a couple more hits come on we can do it you are so so close oh i got knocked down that's awesome that is so helpful when that happens <laughs> and I'm out of that is so wrong. I had a free hit right there Okay, let's go ahead and rest That's gonna give him a chance to hit me again, which is very very sad Ah, So close if I would have had like one more point probably of SP I would have been able to do that one or two points and that matters see right there it matters that i could have easily got that a face slap i think that's a new ability i haven't seen before that's kind of cool maybe i have i don't recall that one it's frustrating sometimes i can't get the taruga into one of the really good battles where they're getting the good xp that first Cormon in that battle was a is an easy one as swarmy and then the sand scale would have gave me a lot more xp which is a little bit frustrating but uh, okay we might have to just jump to our digma here in a little bit if we're not careful because we need to have him buffed up i'm trying to follow this around and i don't think i can make it over to that treasure chest oh there we go we need the digma buffed up for our fight against the titan here but there's a lot of conveyor belts here and i'm not sure how it's going to help me out I kind of want to go let's see what's down in this corner okay wow there is a lot of conveyor this I believe has been severely redesigned a clear cake okay that will take me I would like to get over to that other treasure chest, but I'm not sure how to do that. If I go to this, that's going to push me up and go back. See, I did something wrong, I think. Oh, I'm almost stuck in here. What's it doing to me? Ah! Okay, I just got to find the right way to get in here. If I I wonder what these conveyor belts what does this do I'm curious at what the, it's gonna put me at like if I go all the way down to this one that's well, that worked that, that worked exactly what not exactly what I wanted to do but it was close enough I kind of want to go us to this trainer too how am I gonna get I am going to have to go I need to be in that middle Okay, so let's see if we can work our way back around so that we can get into that middle one again. We're gonna have to take this middle conveyor belt, it looks like, over and then up. That's gonna get us to here and then take that one around and I'll be able to fight this trainer. But I also want, let's go and fight this trainer. 
and see what's over in this corner in the right. And then we'll go from there. Oh, sending out a Taruga, okay. How big is the Taruga? Let's see. 17, let's go for it. It's, it's gonna be, a, this is gonna be a real long, tough fight. He's probably gonna be doing a lot more damage to me. I just would really like this. This would be a very good battle for me to win for my Taruga because of the experience here. The experience he can get from killing a 17 when he's a 16 would be a lot. Now, I would really hope this would work for us, but he keeps on using tough enough. Is that lower my, oh, defense. He's just gonna keep on taking less and less damage as he keeps on using tough it up. I wonder if fire would do any more damage. Probably not. I mean, it's a little bit more, well, maybe, than the slam. I'm trying to think if it's better than the slam, basically. Probably. It did five points last time. I probably should have been doing the cinder instead. We're getting a good five points on here. Boulder Barrage out. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, that's not good. Let's go ahead and do a full HP cake, I think. Or a combi. Combi cake would be a good one. A medium. I got so many of these things. Yeah, those would be really good for the final battle as well. Let's go ahead now. If I have to do this twice, back to back, I think that it would be okay to do that. I'll give me up to 26. He'll hit me. Oh, he didn't hit me. That's fine. I can deal with that. I think we're going to push it. That boulder barrage did a lot. And I got to be really careful right here because... If I'm not careful, another border barrage could easily take me out at this point in my HP. Oh, nope, nope, let's, let's, let's go back to items. Let's use another HP cake. I know this seems like a long drawn out battle for not much gain, but this is where it really can get him a lot of experience here. If I could just knock this guy out. One more hit. I hope you don't use Boulder Barrage. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, it missed. So lucky there. So, so lucky. Do one more. I think we've got it. Because that did 19 points of damage the last time he did that. Oh, sweet. That worked out really good for us. And a Cinder. That should knock him down. I know that was a long drawn out battle but it had a very specific and very good reasoning to it. I should get all that, that should, uh, I thought it would do a little bit more than that, but I guess not. There's an involve, but we're gonna stick with this. It may not be the best idea here, but we're going for it. Can I rest? Oh yeah, that's, yeah. This is probably not gonna work out for us. Yeah, okay. He's there. At least he'll get half of the experience for this. I can't afford to have him in there and die right now. These two are both ice. Would not be a good idea. So I guess it's up to Goss Slime. I know one of these. Can I look at summary? He is, where does it say that? There's a place where it says what level or what he is. He is an ice type and so is a frost shell. That's what I thought, just was making sure there. I figured if they may have been something else but had ice attacks because I know one of them have water attacks. 
and that does really good against the Imbolval. So I was kind of playing that, whether the ice water aspect would be a good idea. Actually, I could also use disable. Gosslime has a disable function. So if I disabled one of Imbolval's abilities, then I could go back to somebody else. Ooh, ouch. Okay, well, that's not good. Let's see if I can see his summary again real quick. Who had the water fight? He has splash. I don't think Frost Shell has a water. Clearing wind is an ice type. That's what I thought. So let's try with Aurora. This is not going to be a good idea. Although Boulder Barrage is not a fire attack. It's a sand attack. So if he does that, then the water coming back around would be very good. Yep, see, I got knocked down though. That's what I figured would happen. Unfortunately, now that I'm switching a bunch of these, my core mon are not gonna get as much experience. So the experience I got or would hope to have got for the Taruga has been spread out a lot. Here, 300 still good. That might get him up to 17. Probably very close to 17, but eh, that's the way it goes, I guess. We're gonna have to do probably a little bit of healing here. Let's throw in a couple of these small combi cakes to him and him and go from there. I'm not sure how that's going to work out for us. Oh, that is probably our way out, I would have to say. But I want to get that treasure chest. Ah, yes. Nice. Got some meat corn. Got me some more combi cakes. We already got this guy, so we're back out to the beginning. That's where we came down. So we're gonna have to go all the way around again, unfortunately, but I don't think that's really that big of a deal. I wanted to make sure that we got that one other... Oh, is it not that one? Oh, it was down one more that we had to do. The far one. I wanted to make sure that we got that last treasure chest. Then we'll go see what she has, or this guy, I guess, over here. Could be a guy. Clara Bell, it is a girl. I was right. Now she has three, so maybe. Probably not be something like 16. 16, but we are already kind of in a bit of a pickle here. We could go ahead and heal him up. I'm afraid that probably the sand scale is going to be too tough here. I don't think he'll be strong or weak to fire which is correct i just think his health is considerably well it was considerably above my and that boulder barrage is going to do a lot of damage i wonder if i can feed him a cake while he's knocked down i don't know if that works or not Oh, okay, we're not doing too bad here. Let's do another cinder. Ah, it is. It does have to wait until the actual next move he uses. That's kind of interesting. I would not have thought of that. 
we're not doing too bad here we're kind of holding our own a little bit a boulder barrage or something would be really bad but i would really like him to get caught on fire we're making a little bit of headway here into having more health than he does Come on, one more and you got it all by yourself, Taruga. Oh, though, he just got burned. Sweet. So we should be able to hold it. He'll get burned, and then our next sender should kill it. And even if we miss or something, the burn should take it out that one turn. That should get us a lot of experience, too. 600, there we go. And probably halfway up to 18. Oh, we got our own boulder barrage. Look at that. Nice. A looter wolf. 17, 18. You know, we're going to go for it. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Ah, uh, hit no wave. One way to level them up. I got enough past this that I think I'll be all right. Uh oh. That's bad, though. I really would like to get the fire on him, though. I've never used that, but it basically means I think he can't die this round or something like that. Wow, he's not doing anything, but he's going to knock him out straight up. How much damage? That's not bad. 11. I'm a little worried here. Shade Walker, he, he moved his attack up so much. Oh, wow. That's what I was waiting for. I thought that that was going to happen. What do I want to do here? I am going to... I got so much money, I really could just... I could have removed sleep there. I don't know if that's a good idea. If he hits me with that Shade Walker again, I could switch it out. I don't know how long that increased attack works for. I fell asleep again. Let's try the Boulder Broad to see how much damage it's going to do to him. Man, a crit on that would be... I just don't think it's going to work here for him really would like him to have that though who do I want to do this I'm gonna go dig maw I need to get him up to the level of course he woke up now you're so helpful shade walker's still gonna do a bunch of damage I don't know if I have it in him he's doing so much damage That's not what I wanted to dig malls down. Oh gosh, I was lucky there. I really, really was lucky. I was so expecting him. Oh, don't fight items. I need that HP cake on dig mall. There we go. Wow, I almost ruined it right there. That's gonna allow me to get my Stigma healed up and then hopefully be able to use something on him. These are doing a ton of damage. Oh, sh I was really worried there. That how did a lot of good for him. I increased his attack by a ton. My Dig Demol is number 22 now. That should also raid my Taruga up. Oh, I may not have a Taruga anymore. Yay. What is he evolving into? Oh, yes. Oh, sweet. The justice for that. I almost got knocked out by a Lunar Wolf. Awesome. And it took my Lunar Pop away by an evolution. So I ended up coming back with that. That's so crazy. I don't think the 
changes with the evolution. I'm not sure about that, actually. I don't even know what he has. Sends out a Mawful. Little old Mawful. I kind of want to see what the Lunar Wolf has. Let's just go ahead and do a cut and take this guy out. That's cool. I'm really excited to have that Lunar Wolf now. Wow, that was a nice hit. I should get my Digma almost up to 23. Pretty close. And we de defeated Clarabel, and we are done with level three. On to level four in the next episode. Level four will be a little bit tricky because I'm not sure how it's changed. If it's changed, we still have that puzzle there. If we still have the puzzle and we get through it pretty easily, then what I will probably do is do that in part of five and then five and the titan in the the episode after that that is going to be our episode for today i'm really actually excited about having a lunar wolf that's kind of funny i will see you in the next episode thank you so much for watching and bye everybody